Hey everyone, today is day 7 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and in today's problem we are going to be working with some dates okay, or date functions. Now as you can see we have been given an input table, we need to write a query which is going to derive the output as shown here. Okay. First of all let us understand the problem statement. It basically states in a given input table the day indicator this field indicates the day of the week with the first character being Monday followed by Tuesday and so on. Now what this means is this particular field here basically indicates which day of the week it is. Okay. So basically you see there are seven characters. Okay. Each character is basically representing one day of the week. So the first character starts with Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Now what they are asking us to do is to write a query to filter the dates column we need to filter this column to showcase only those days where the day indicator character of that day of the week is 1. Basically what they are asking us to do is we need to align these dates as per the indicator given. Okay. So if I have to explain it again, you can see that we have two different products. So for this first product AP755, we have 7 records. Then for the second product XQ802, we again have 7 records. Okay. What we need to do is for each product we need to fetch only those records whose days here are aligned with the indicator given here. In other words if you see in this indicator one is represented for four times that means for four different days. So it's for Monday it is one then for Wednesday it is one then for I think Friday it is one and Sunday it is one right. So in these dates, wherever these dates are corresponding to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, only those four records I should fetch and I should provide it in my output. Okay. Same way for the second product, I should again check what are the indicator. Here I have for Monday it is 1, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday it is 0 and then Friday and Saturday it is 1. Right. So that means in these seven days, I should only fetch those records which are corresponding to a Monday, Friday and Saturday. Okay, and those three records I need to show it in my output. Okay, so this is basically the problem statement. I hope you understand. Now, as I have already been telling you in this SQL challenge or the 30 day SQL challenge, you need to now go to my blog or to my Discord, download the data set, solve it, and then share your solution in the Discord server. Okay, now I'm going to be solving it in two different databases because the solution would be slightly different, right? So I'm going to first solve it in PostgreSQL database. And then I will provide you a solution in Microsoft SQL Server. Now, first of all, I am going to be solving this problem using PostgreSQL database. As you can see, I have already created the table. Now, what I basically need to do here is to compare the day indicator field with the dates field. But currently, I cannot compare it because day indicator is kind of like an indicator where it rep each character represents the day of the week. Whereas the dates is in the date format. So if I want to compare it with the day of the week, I need to first fetch the day of the week from the dates field, right? Now in PostgreSQL, I can easily do that by using the extract function. I can just tell extract, then in order to fetch the day of the week, I can say DOW, but I want to fetch the ISO standard. So I'll say ISO DOW, and then I'll say from the dates field, and this is going to be, let's say, DOW, okay, date of week. Now if I run this, now you can see that for each field, it corresponds to one number. Each number here represents one day of the week. One basically means Monday, two Tuesday, three Wednesday and seven is Sunday. Okay. Now this aligns with our requirement. Okay. We wanted the first day to be treated as Monday. Okay. The first day of the week to be treated as Monday because that is what was mentioned in our input. Okay. So in PostgreSQL using this function, the first day of the week is starting with Monday. Whereas if you're using some other databases, maybe Microsoft SQL Server or some other, maybe the first day of the week could be Sunday, okay, or some other, okay. So, but in PostgreSQL, whatever I'm getting here, the day of the week is aligned with my requirement for this particular problem. So I'm going to keep it as it is. Okay, now what I want to do here is I want to compare this field with this field, okay, the day indicator with the day of the week. Now, just to keep it more simple, I'm just going to fetch one data for one particular product. I'm just going to say where product ID is equal to AP, I think 755, right? If I run this, I'll get only data for one product. We'll keep it like this so that it becomes easier for you to see and understand, okay? Now, the important thing that I want here is 
if you look at this column value, there are seven characters. And if you look at the number of records in this column, there are seven values. So how I'm going to do this comparison is, I'm going to take the first character of this day indicator and I'm assuming that the first value here or the first record here is for Monday. Okay. So try to understand what I'm saying. In this column, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the day of the week is represented in horizontal format. Whereas in this column, or you could say this column, the day of the week is represented in vertical format. But the same thing here is, this is also seven characters and this is seven records. So if I take the first character from this field, compare it with the first record of this two field or this field, then it will be an equal comparison. So what I'm trying to explain here is, I'll use a substring function so that I can fetch one character from each of this field. So initially I'll fetch the first character that basically represents for the first day of the week. If it is one, then I'll create a flag here saying that it is one. Then I'll go to the second record here. And in the second record, I'll fetch the second character of the day indicator. If the second character of the day indicator is one, then I will make the flag as one. But if it is zero, then I'll make the flag as zero. Okay. So after this comparison, I, for each of this record, I'll have one, zero, one, zero, etc. Okay. So wherever it is one, that is the day of the week, which is mentioned in this indicator. And that is what should be written in my final output. Okay. That is what I'm trying to do. Now, I'm not sure how many of you understood this explanation, but hopefully when I try to solve it, it will make more sense. So what I'm trying to do is I'll say sub string. Okay. And I'll say day indicator. Okay. And I'll say, let's say one comma one for now. If I run this, what basically it's doing is from this particular field, it is going, it's starting from the first place or the, from the first position and fetching one character. Okay. It's getting one. Let's say if I start from the second position and if I fetch one character, it should fetch me the second character that is zero. Okay. That is what I'll get. Okay. This is what substring does. What I want to do here is I want to do a comparison. Okay. For, for example, I want to say case when, okay, let's say I'm in the first record. I want to compare, fetch one character from here, compare it with this value in the day field. Okay. Now, I know the first character here represents Monday and the first record here represents Monday. Okay. So I want to do substring of, let's say one comma one, the first character. Okay. If it is case when this is equal to one. Okay. If it is equal to one, then I say the flag as one else. I'll say the flag as zero end. And this is going to be my flag. Now, why am I doing this? For the first record, this case will hold true. Okay. Why? because the first character here is Monday and the first record here is also Monday, right? But I want it to be dynamic. I cannot hard code one comma one. Rather, I could use the value that I'm getting from this day of week field, okay? So for example, if I just copy this whole function, okay? And if I just put it here, okay? And I think now it's going to throw me an error because this function here returns a numeric value, whereas an integer is expected. If I run this, it's going to throw me an error but I can convert this numeric into an integer by using this, this way in PostgreSQL. If you're using some other database, you can use cast as well. If I run this, now it works. What I'm basically doing here is, you can see that I'm actually getting the flag that I want, okay? But actually what happened here? So using this substring, I fetched one character from this substring, okay? The first character in, in the first iteration, okay? Let's go one by one. In the first iteration, the first record, the first character is one. So the substring of when I do extract of the day of week from the dates field, here I it is one, right? This is going to be one. So the substring of one comma one, it is basically the first character. If it is equal to one, so I'm putting this condition. If it is equal to one, then my whole flag should be returned as one, okay? Or if it is confusing, I will just change this to, let's say, include, okay? And maybe I will just call it like, exclude okay just to make it more easy to understand okay now it means that i need to include this record and because here the first character was one it is monday and i know that this day of the week is monday so this needs to be included when i go into the second record here now i want to fetch the second character from this particular string right day indicator so here i know the day of the week is already two right 
So when I take the second character using this function inside my substring, it, I'll take the second character, it is 0, and I'm comparing is 0 equal to 1, it is not true, so it will say exclude. So for the second day of the week, it will tell exclude. When I go into my third week, here the day indicator is 3 because it is the third day of the week and I'll fetch the third character from this. So it is 1. Is 1 equal to 1? Yes. So it will say include and that is what is happening. And the same thing will happen for all the 7 days of the week. Okay. So this is what I'm doing. So by doing this comparison, I'm basically, I'll come to know which day of the week I should include and which I should exclude. I hope this is clear. I hope it makes some sense. Okay. Now to finally fetch the final result, I can just tell select product id comma day indicator comma indicator comma I'll say dates from uh, and I'll say I'll open the parenthesis and I'll move this to the right I'll call it x and here I can just tell where flag equal to include okay and if I run this now you can see that I'm only getting the four dates or four records which I actually wanted to include that is 4th March, 6th March, 8th March and 10th March. Okay. And that is exactly what I wanted in my final output. Okay. I hope this is clear. Okay. Just to explain it again, what am I doing here is I am basically comparing if you look at the substring here. Okay. Uh, you can basically I have this day indicator which is showing the day of the week in the horizontal format, seven characters, whereas this day of the week field is also seven uh, values or seven records, but it is in the vertical format. I'm comparing the first character from here with the first day, first day of the week here. If they both are same, if, if basically the indicator here is one, then I'm trying it as making it as include. Okay. And I'm doing it for every day of the week. I hope you understand. It's a little difficult for me to explain this, but I hope you understand my thought process and I hope you understand this solution. Okay. Now, one thing I have put a filter here for a particular product. I need to remove that because this uh, should work for all the products as well. Now you can see for the first product, I'm getting the four records and for the second product, I'm getting the three days. So the fourth, eighth and the ninth of March. And that is what it is. Fourth, eighth and ninth of March. Okay. So this is basically my solution in PostgreSQL. I hope you understand. Now, I'm going to show you another solution in another database that is in Microsoft SQL Server. Why? Because in Microsoft SQL Server, this extract function will not work. So we will see what other function we can use. The same logic will work, but instead of extract, we prob probably need to use a different function. Okay. So let's see how to do that. Now in Microsoft SQL Server, I have again already created the table. Okay. Uh, the next thing is, I need to do the comparison, but in order to compare this field with this field, I need to fetch the day of the week from the dates. Now in Microsoft SQL Server, whenever you want to fetch the day of the week, how you can do that is there is a function called as date part. Now this date part function will fetch you different values within your date. Okay. I want to fetch the uh, day, day of the week, right? So I'll say DW. And then I'm just going to pass the field that is dates. Okay. And if I just run this, okay, I'm getting an error. Uh, and it is because I should not be passing DW inside the single quotes, but like this. And now if I run this, now you can see that I'm getting the day of the week. The problem here is in Microsoft SQL Server, as per this function, the day of the week starts, basically the day of the week starts from Sunday. Since this date is Monday, it is having two. Okay. And Sunday, I think this 10th March is actually a Sunday. Sunday is having the indicator as one. Okay. But in PostgreSQL, we had Monday starting with one. Okay. So we had one, two, three, four going until seven, but here the order is different. Okay. Now we need this order to be from one to seven. Okay. Why? Once we have it from one to seven, then the logic that we have built comparing uh, the first character from here, this field into the first record of this field will work. Okay. So if we have this two, three, four until seven, it does not align with our uh, logic. Okay. So first of all, we somehow need to find a way to make this two as one. Then we basically need to make Monday as one and then go until uh, Sunday as seven. Okay. Now, one of the way of doing that is by applying a simple math formula here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is my intention is to convert this two 
into one right so how i can do that is i'm just going to copy this i'll just show you to you here so this whole thing i will i'll i'll basically say i'll add five to it okay so this is the value Let, let's just compare this record here okay so the first record here so i'm getting two from here for the first record i'll do plus seven so two plus seven is seven okay then i will do a modulus by seven Okay. Okay. So I'm not doing plus seven. I'm doing plus five. Then a modulus with seven. Okay. Now what this happens is when I do plus five, two plus five is seven. Seven percentage seven will return zero. Okay. Then I will do plus one. Okay. So this whole thing will return when I, if I'm passing the input as two, then this whole thing is going to return me one. Let's say for the second record, when I pass three. This whole date part is going to return three. Three plus five is eight. Eight percentage of seven. Eight modulus of seven is basically going to return one. One plus one will be two. So this three will get return uh, returned as two. Okay. Now to better understand this, let me run this. Then then you will see the output. Previously from that date part, this is the output I got. But using this mathematical formula that I used, I am now converting it. Basically moving one value. Prior, okay. So two will be returned as one, three will be returned as two, and then you see seven will be returned as six, and this one that I had is returned as seven, okay. And this is exactly the value that I wanted for the day of the week, okay. So that I can apply that previous formula, okay. I hope you are able to understand this, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'll go into my PostgreSQL, I'll copy this same solution that I have, and I'm just going to put that solution here, okay. And I'll just minimize this a little, okay. And I'll use the same solution, okay. Only thing is, instead of using this extract, I will use this date part, this whole formula here, okay. So I'll just copy this whole thing, okay. And I will just, um, okay. I don't need this day of the week field here. I'll remove that. But inside this day of the week, inside this extract until this whole thing, I will. Um, yeah, so I think it is like this. Yeah, so here I'll just put that whole formula, okay? And hopefully it should work. Let's see if I'll just run this subquery. It is working, looks like. So for Monday, it is selling include, then exclude, include, exclude, etc. If I come to the second product, that is this record, uh, for Monday it should include, whereas then for the next three days it should exclude. And then for Friday, it should include and Saturday, it should include. So it's working. Okay. So the only thing that I changed was instead of using extract, I'm using this date part formula along with this uh, date part function along with this formula. And now if I just run the whole query, you can see that I'm getting the output here. Okay. So this is basically my solution in SQL server. I hope this is clear. It might be a little confusing at first to understand, but try to watch the video again. Try to execute this function in your uh, database and see how it works. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow with another problem. Bye.